The team is still out here in western Kansas, and our shop manager, Bo, is getting a little bit of downtime from the lab by joining us in the field. And even though it's only his second time out, he has made a really cool discovery. Okay, well, uh, this is my second time out in the field with the guys, and uh, apparently I got lucky this time, and I, I ran across a, uh, a pterosaur skeleton. Um, I told Mike that I was going to head up to the top of this bluff, and as soon as I got there, I spotted a wing. Um, the guys came up, they dug a little bit more, and saw a couple femurs, um, the sternum, um, a couple more bits were there, and apparently these guys are pretty rare out here, so the pterosaurs um, being flying animals had hollow bones uh, so the bones will collapse very flat they're super thin and that's one of the ways that you can actually tell um, one reptile from another um, a mosasaur from a pterosaur um, the way we typically um, find our bones is we look for what we call the float and that's where the uh, the bones will erode out and kind of roll down the hill um, with other sediment uh, and what we do is we track them back up and up the hill and uh, sometimes we'll uh, we'll find more the layers on top of the bone have to be removed obviously to expose the layer that the bones are on um, so we went through that process and uh, you know, we have to be extremely careful with these bones because they're so fragile. On a, on a pterosaur, you have to be extremely delicate. Uh, the, the bones are almost paper thin. Um, so you have to be very, very careful when you deal with these bones. Um, that can be kind of challenging when uh, the, the bone is under a, under a layer and the bone is so thin, it can actually come up with the layer. For this, for this specific specimen, um, we, we went away from the hand tools um, because the, the air scribes are, um, are used for the extremely delicate work. Um, you can be extremely precise. So we found, we found the bone layer, we, we exposed some of the bone, and then we, we perimeter, we come around and we dig a small trench um, to get under the bone layer. Um, uh, preferably on a layer that will split so we can pull the jacket up nice and easy. Um, after we've done the perimeter, we come back with uh, burlap and uh, hydrocal and essentially put a giant cast um, over, over the entire bone and around the, the pedestal that we've made. Um, then we come back with giant chisels, we hammer the crap out of it and pop it loose. Then we load it to the truck and we take it to the lab and that's where the guys do the real work. Um, this, this particular specimen has been very exciting for me because um, it's such a rare, rare animal and uh, it's my first find. So um, this, one, this one for me has been definitely like striking gold. Um, it's, it's extremely exciting. I'm, I, feel, I feel really good about this one. So. That's not true. The real work happens here. <laughs> okay.